William Ernest Harwell began his broadcasting career in Atlanta, Georgia in 1940. From 1948 to 2002, he called over 8,000 baseball games and in 1981 received the greatest honor of them all, induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Ernie painted a picture of baseball unlike any other. Baseball is a president tossing out the first ball of the season and a scrubby schoolboy playing catch with his dad on the Mississippi farm. A tall, thin old man waving a scorecard from the corner of his dugout. That's baseball. And so is a big, fat guy with a bulbous nose running home one of his 714 home runs. There's a man in Mobile who remembers that Hannes Wagner hit a triple in Pittsburgh 46 years ago. That's baseball. And so is a scout reporting that a 16-year-old pitcher in Cheyenne is the coming Walter Johnson. Baseball is a spirited race of man against man, reflex against reflex, a game of inches. Every skill is measured. Every heroic, every failing is seen and cheered or booed and then becomes a statistic. In baseball, democracy shines its clarity. The only race that matters is the race of the bag. The creed is a rule book, and color merely something to distinguish one team's uniform from another. Baseball is a rookie. His experience no bigger than the lump in his throat as he begins fulfillment of his dream. And it's a veteran, too, a tired old man of 35, hoping that those aching muscles can pull him through another sweltering August and September. Nicknames of baseball, names like Zeke and Pie and Kai Kai and Home Run and Cracker and Dizzy and Dazzy. Baseball is the clear, cool eyes of Rogers Hornsby, the flashing spikes of a Ty Cobb, and an overaged pixie named Rabbit Moranville. Baseball, just a game, as simple as a ball in batting, yet as complex as the American spirit it symbolizes. A sport, a business, sometimes almost even religion. While the fairy tale of Willie Mays making a brilliant World Series catch and then dashing off to play stickball in the streets with his teenage pals. That's baseball. So is the husky voice of a doomed Blue Garrick saying, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of this earth. Baseball is cigar smoke, hot roasted peanuts, the sporting news, ladies' day, down in front. Take me out to the ball game in the Star Spangled Banner. And baseball is a tongue-tied kid from Georgia growing up to be an announcer and praising the Lord for showing him the way to Cooperstown. This is a game for America. Still a game for America, this baseball. Thank you. You'll have to take me just as I am. So let me say thank you very much for listening.